Okay, so to emboss with a stencil, you need to have a light table, which I'm using my daughter's today, or a window works in a pinch. That's how I've been doing it. I promise I'm going to go get a light box tomorrow at Hobby Lobby with my 40% off coupon. They're only $9.99 already, but hey, why not save a couple extra bucks? So you need a stencil, and I love these pebble stencils. They are the perfect size for cards. I have a uh, spring set here. It's got all sorts, 10 different little um, spring images. Let's see, can we see that? Probably not, okay. Well, anyway, there's 10 different spring images on there. And today I'm going to do the little egg chickadee, whatever you want to call it, like a egg-shaped chick. Um, so I'm going to turn the light table part on and you set your stencil down first and then you lay your cardstock or paper over top of it. Decide where you want to position it. I'm going to save a little room at the top because that's where I'm going to stamp my sentiment for the card. And then you need one of these little stylus tools which um, you can get for like a buck or two, also Hobby Lobby or Joann's or wherever. And you want to use the larger end. They've got two little balls on the ends. You want to use the larger end and just go and trace all along the edge of your stencil. And you don't have to be exactly perfect or precise. It still looks great when you're done. And one around there. Pretty sure I got them all. Those little feet. You don't want to use the smaller end because it will poke through the paper. So use the larger end of the stylus. Okay, now that I've done that, you flip it over and it's your embossed image. Let me turn the table off. Let's see, can you see that? How oh, it's embossed there, your little shape or whatever. And also, on these stencils, there's like the face. And I'm just going to use it as a stencil for that purpose. Um, you can use ink. Marker, colored pencils, whatever. I'm going to use my Pebbles chalks here. And with some, oh, don't need the stylus anymore. With a little tool and a little pom pom here. Load it up. I'm going to go orange. Or his little beak, just positioning where you want it on your little thing there, and rub, 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 best way. Okay. And then pick it up, and just like that, you got a little chickadee shape there on your card with a face. And let's see here, finish it off. I am horrible at stamping first, let me say that. I'm going to use a spring sentiment because I don't really have any good Easter ones. Got to get me some of those. How about using these little Studio G's? This one says spring has sprung. I load all my Studio G's into the CD cases. You can get about four sets to one CD case. And it's a lot easier than storing those tiny, tiny packages. I forgot to bring my block down with me. So I'm just going to use the lid to my ink as my stamping block. I know. Improvise, right? Let's ink it up. I'm going to go with pink. Position it right up there. And voila, spring has sprung. 
Then, my card base. It's just a small, ready-made card base. Um, fold it in half here. Don't fold it. Crease it. There we go. Now, lay it out there like that. Center it. Good. Okay, now before I go and adhere it down, I'm going to put some ribbon on there, decorate it up. So, get my H or ATG gun and just go along the back of my ribbon. Like so. Put it on there. Put it on my bottom here. Stick on the back. Like that. Just going up to hold it on to the front of our card. I'm quite liberal with the glue. Okay. Let's move him a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to stick him on here. Center it a bit. And stick it down. I think it needs flour. What do you think? A flour? Yes. Okay, I got my bunch of primas here. Great deal. Buy these big bunches like this and then just cut off whichever ones you need. I love them. So easy. Okay, so I'm going to take. Oh, looks like a good size. That one. Normally, I would either use a glue dot or some of my uh, tacky glue, but I got my ATG handy, so why not? It holds pretty good. And then, let's see, we will stick it right up there. And that's it. Uh, easy, simple card and you've embossed your image. So now you've got more than one use for these cute little stencil sets. Thanks. Here's the finished card. I decided to move the flower and I added a little bit of orange to the little chickie's legs.